1972 Australian side that uh, went to England was labelled by the English press as the worst team, worst Australian team to ever reach uh, English shores. Obviously, as captain, I didn't uh, agree with that. Uh, but we lost the first test uh, at Old Trafford on a pitch that seemed around an awful lot. We lost by about 90-odd runs. So uh, it was a situation where we needed to bounce back pretty quickly because Australia at that point hadn't won a test match for about 11 tests, I think. There'd been a few draws, but no, no victories. So we badly needed a test victory. Uh, we, went to, we went to Lords, and it's known as Massey's match. Bob Massey on debut, 16 wickets, uh, incredible debut, eight wickets in each innings. Uh, it's, it's known as Massey's match, but um, the contribution of Greg Chappell uh, should never be forgotten. Greg has described his 131 at Lords as his best ever innings. Um, I, I was down the other end for quite a bit of it. We were in deep trouble early. We, we bowled England out reasonably cheaply. But we were in deep trouble. I think we were two for seven um, uh, early on. Uh, Francis out quickly and then Stackpole. So Greg and I were in together. And Greg, I'm not sure how long he batted for, but uh, it, it was a long time. His concentration, and, and I think the thing that stood out with Greg's batting, he wasn't the best batsman of his era, but certainly he was the best mentally organised batsman of his era. And he, he had great mental strength. And on this occasion, he used every ounce of that mental strength. His concentration was impeccable. He battled really hard early on. It was a pitch that was uh, doing a little bit off the seam. Massey had swung the ball. The English bowlers weren't so much swing bowlers. Jon Snow, more bang it into the pitch and, and get movement off the pitch. And it was one of those pitches where it just kept, something was happening the whole time. You, you never ever felt like you were, you know, even if you're 50 or 60, you never felt like you were totally secure. You had to, you just couldn't let up for one second. And that's how Greg batted. He, he just concentrated. It, it certainly wasn't his most flamboyant knock and it wasn't uh, his most stroke-filled knock. But I think the reason why Greg ranked it so high was because technically it was, it was brilliant. But also mentally, it was, uh, it was, there was great mental strength there. And, and Greg was and still is whenever he talks about batting. You know, he talks so much about the, the strength of the mind and that's, that was one of his great strengths. And, and you never saw a better example of it than his 131 at Lords.